Anvils have been an essential tool in blacksmithing and metalworking for centuries. These massive, sturdy blocks serve as a work surface for shaping, forging, and refining metal. If you've ever seen an anvil up close, you'll notice that it has a shiny, hardened surface, usually made of steel, while the rest of the body may be of a different material such as cast iron or wrought iron. But why is hardened steel the preferred material for an anvil surface? In this video, we'll explore the science, history, and practical reasons behind the traditional use of hardened steel in anvil construction, right here on History of Simple Things. One of the most critical factors in an anvil's effectiveness is its hardness. When a blacksmith strikes a piece of hot metal against the anvil, the force of the hammer needs to be efficiently transferred into the workpiece. A hardened steel surface provides the necessary resistance, preventing the anvil from deforming under repeated hammer blows. If an anvil were made from a softer material, such as mild steel or iron, it would dent and warp over time, reducing its effectiveness and making it more difficult to achieve precision in forging. Hardened steel, on the other hand, can withstand extreme force and retain its shape, making it the ideal choice for the working surface of an anvil. Another reason for using hardened steel is its ability to provide good rebound. Rebound refers to how much energy is returned to the hammer after striking the anvil. If you've ever watched a skilled blacksmith at work, you may have noticed how the hammer bounces slightly after each strike. This isn't just a coincidence, it's a crucial feature of a well-made anvil. High rebound anvils reduce fatigue for the blacksmith by conserving energy with each hammer blow. When a hammer strikes hardened steel, a significant portion of the impact force is reflected back, making the next strike easier. Without this rebound effect, a blacksmith would have to exert more effort with every hammer strike, leading to faster exhaustion and inefficient work. This is why softer materials, which absorb rather than reflect energy, are unsuitable for anvil surfaces. Historically, anvils were made from a variety of materials, but their construction evolved as blacksmithing techniques improved. Early anvils were often made of stone or bronze, but these materials lacked the durability needed for heavy forging. With the advancement of ironworking, blacksmiths began using wrought iron, which was more robust, but still relatively soft. The breakthrough came with the introduction of steel, which is an alloy of iron and carbon that can be hardened through heat treatment. By the 19th century, most high-quality anvils were being made with a wrought iron or cast iron base topped with a hardened steel face. This method provided the best of both worlds, a strong shock-absorbing body and an extremely durable high-rebound working surface. The production of a hardened steel anvil requires careful engineering and heat treatment. Traditionally, Anvils were forged by welding a thick plate of high carbon steel onto a wrought iron base. This was done by heating both the steel face and the iron body to an extremely high temperature, then hammering them together to form a single solid piece. The hardened steel surface was then further strengthened through quenching, a process where the metal is rapidly cooled to increase its hardness. Modern anvils are often made entirely of hardened steel, cast from a single piece or carefully heat treated to achieve the desired hardness and toughness. These advancements have resulted in even more durable anvils that can withstand decades of use without significant wear. You might wonder why blacksmiths don't use other hard materials, such as cast iron or even ceramic, for an anvil surface. The main reason is that an anvil needs not only hardness, but also toughness. While cast iron is hard, it is also brittle, 
meaning it can crack or shatter under the repeated impact of hammer blows. Hardened steel, on the other hand, has both high hardness and toughness, allowing it to resist deformation while also absorbing and distributing force effectively. Ceramics, though extremely hard, would be even more brittle than cast iron, making them completely unsuitable for forging applications. Most anvils feature a rounded horn, a hardy hole, and a pritchel hole, each serving a specific function. The horn, used for bending and shaping metal, also benefits from the strength and resilience of hardened steel. While some anvils have horns made from softer materials, those designed for heavy use often include a hardened steel horn for improved durability. The hardy hole and pritchel hole, which hold various tools and punches, also need to be sturdy enough to handle repeated use. By using hardened steel for the anvil's face and critical components, manufacturers ensure that these features remain functional for decades. Anvil hardness is typically measured using the Rockwell Hardness Scale, specifically the Rockwell C Scale, or HRC. A good anvil surface generally falls within the range of 50 to 60 HRC, which is similar to high-quality tool steel. This level of hardness ensures that the anvil can resist wear while still being tough enough to handle heavy impacts. If an anvil is too soft, it will dent easily. If it is too hard, it may become brittle and develop cracks over time. Finding the right balance between hardness and toughness is key to making a high-quality anvil. Hardened steel has remained the material of choice for anvils because of its superior hardness, durability, and rebound characteristics. It allows blacksmiths to work efficiently, reducing fatigue while ensuring precise shaping of metal. The evolution of anvil construction, from early stone and bronze models to modern hardened steel designs, reflects centuries of craftsmanship and engineering. Whether you're an experienced blacksmith or simply fascinated by the tools of metalworking, understanding why anvils are made of hardened steel gives you a deeper appreciation for this essential piece of equipment. So next time you see an anvil, you'll know that its steel surface isn't just for looks. It's a result of centuries of refinement and necessity in the art of forging. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.